Hello viewers, it's K Felix here and I welcome you to my YouTube channel K Felix Inspire. I would like to say a very big thank you to all of you for the support and the contribution you are giving to this channel. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Stay tuned for more details in this report. So, I just want to I just want to uh, clarify something. I've seen um, some cheap lies that are being propagated on social media uh, just now. I came, I was at, I was uh, in church. I've just come back. And uh, I'm sure by now you are all familiar. Um, you are familiar of uh, my house. Eh? You are familiar of my house. I'm at home. And this is live right now i'm speaking live i've decided to do a live a broadcast uh, so that uh, i mean i leave no 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 doubt in the mind of uh, some of the naive people so i am prompted to do this video because some people have uh, are spreading lies on social media that uh, I am in Nyimba, Eastern Province. I don't know if it's, yeah, Nyimba, Eastern Province, with President Edgar Lungu. Now, I don't, I, I don't even remember the last time I met President Edgar Lungu. I don't even remember. Uh, and today, I woke up, I went to church. I've just come back from church. Eh? I'm even, I even passed by, bought some bread, and uh, here I am. I'm at home. I'm sure you know my, my place. This is a place now that uh, is familiar to um, all of you. There is the gate where those uh, uh, the UE boys were trying to break, you know? I don't understand why people are so evil bent you know they are so malicious they just want to create things which are not there you are trying to implicate me into things that i don't even i don't even know eh? my life is very simple and what i talk about is also very simple me i talk about what i see what i hear with evidence so don't implicate me don't try don't uh, start uh, coming up with some propaganda, you know, uh, to implicate me. <laughs> if you want to implicate uh, uh, President uh, uh, Edgar Lungu, go ahead. We know. We know the plan. You want to implicate Edgar Lungu. But uh, you must know that uh, myself and the President Edgar Lungu, there is no connection. What I do, I do it independently. Away from from President Edgar Lungu. I don't do anything to impress anyone. Eh? I don't do anything to impress anyone. I don't speak out to impress President Edgar Lungu or impress whoever you may think. President Edgar Lungu is not my boss. He's not my boss. You keep talking. Hey, what, what? Edgar Lungu is, he has given him money. Hey, Edgar Lungu. Uh, you, you took money to South Africa to go and deposit money for, for Edgar Lungu. I, I don't understand you. I am a man of my own. I am a man of my own. Stop speculating. Stop trying to link me to President Ed Galungu. Eh? Because uh, I, 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 I realize, I mean, you don't have answers. Like I said the other time, I told you that, look, when I come up with something, what I expect is people to respond on the issues that I've raised. Respond on the issues that I've raised. Don't start coming up with funny theories. Funny theories of, oh, Ed Galungu has given him money. Oh, he's now with Ed Galungu. Oh, he has gone to, to Nyimba with Ed Galungu. Come on! I know you want to, you want to implicate Ed Galungu. That is what you want. You want to implicate Ed Galungu. But go ahead, do that. I was not even in government myself i was not even in government so you, the plans that you have 
go ahead and let's see where that will take you. That is my point. Let's see where that will take you. I know you want to implicate Edgar Lungu, but I'm trying to tell you that you go ahead with that and let's see where that will come, will, will take you through. Hmm? Where, let's see where that will take you through. I'm in my house. Hmm? I'm in my house. Here I am. Hmm? With my Kia. Kia, say hi. See? Eh? Hi. <laughs> I eh? Hi. These guys, they are saying that I'm in Nyimba. Can you imagine? Mm. And I'm not with I'm not at home. Eh? I'm not with you. Can you believe them, baby? <laughs> they are crazy, eh? <laughs> they are really crazy. Eh? Even Kia is he's shocked. Hey baby. Eh? Look at her. Hey baby. <laughs> they are crazy, eh? <laughs> Yes, baby. Hmm? So please, stop the lies. I've done this video. I just wanted to clarify because some people are naive. Some people, you know, when they just read, yeah, it is true. Most of the things that they talk about me is not true. Most of the things is not true. It's not true at all. But what I talk about them is the truth. For them, they lie against me. Me, what I talk about them is actually the truth. The things that I tell you here, they never respond to them. You see, here now, I told you that, look, these people, uh, they have gathered and they are trying to get information. They are trying to, to build a case against Ed Galungu so that they can arrest Ed Galungu. And I, I told you that there are people who are, who are doing what? and who are doing audit in um, in the defense force i told you about that and have they refused it hasn't it come out true hasn't it come out true what i told you didn't it hasn't it come out true they are now running up and down like headless chickens trying to defend an illegality they are trying to defend an illegality because of their hate for Edgar Lungu, they are even committing crimes. They are even committing treason. What you have done is treason. Exposing state secret is treasonous. Hmm? Is treasonous. E exposing a, a secret, the secrets of a country, it's treason. You have committed treason. Or in the efforts, or in the, you know, uh, with a desire to or in attempt to implicate Edgar, you have even lost focus just because of the hate that you have. Just because of the hate that you have, that you have for Edgar Lungu, you are even committing treason. Eh? You can't explain it. And this great, this this man, at director, at information, uh, Ministry of Information, Tavo Kawan, he was also, I think it is the other day. Eh? trying to explain what cannot be explained. Eh? He was saying, no, these people, they are not uh, looking at our, uh, our guns, they are not looking at uh, uh, whatever we have militarily. They are sitting in a room and then people are bringing them files and they are not doing audit because they have seen that according to the Audit Act, what they are doing is a crime. So now they are running away from the word audit. Now they have gone to, uh, they are doing verification. Whatever the case, whatever the case, the, the, the military is not supposed to be for foreigners. Whatever the case is not supposed to be for foreigners. What you have done is illegal. It is an illegality. It is treason. And you should pray that the government that will come in will not... Uh, uh, some of you, you will not be jailed. Otherwise, you are going to be in big, big trouble. You are going to be in big, big trouble for what you are doing. And instead of you coming up with lies, uh, maligning, maligning me, trying to create up some concoct, some some case uh, between me and Edgar Lungu, you should be ready to handle this. 
and the best that you could do is just to cancel that thing. Just cancel it. Then to keep on defending it because I'm telling you, you will be in trouble over this. You will be in trouble. And Zambians, you may not see the other point in this. You may not see. These guys, they are saying, we have got debt. Eh? We have got so much debt. And then they go and they hire their friends to do what they are calling verification at within the law. I don't know which law. Because Tawakawana kept saying within the law, within the law. But he couldn't quote which law Tawakawana or this government used to engage those people to go into the military. But over and above that, they are spending money. They are spending money. They are stealing money. Basically, they are stealing. The money that they are, that they are paying these companies, it is stealing. Imagine, and you want to pay. At No, before I start paying, I want to verify. Then you go and start hiring your friends and start paying them. Eh? You have got debt. We are, you are saying you want to pay our debt. But you are actually hiring your friends and then paying them. What solution is in there? So far, these guys have not paid any debt. They have not paid any debt of the government. And yet, when he, when he was in opposition, he kept on saying, no, we will pay debt. Hey, we will create a moratorium, a moratorium on debt. Since they came in, these guys have been borrowing money. They have been borrowing. And they have been giving business to their friends. And they are paying them. Zambians are not being paid in the guise of, no, we are verifying. Yeah? You see, a lot of contractors, they are not being paid. Contractors are not being paid. And they are not paying them in the guise of, no, we are verifying. We are doing audit. Meanwhile, they are contracting their friends and they are paying them. Honestly. And you, when I talk at, no, tired, turn down, turn down. How can I turn down with, say, before such nonsense? How can I turn down before such criminality? How can I turn down before such a uh, corruption? Eh? This is a government of Wapunka, Makruksi. Corrupt people. And they are busy pointing fingers at others. But these guys are stealing. They are stealing big time. Don't be cheated by all these you know, drama that they are putting up. Following this one, following that one, following that one, seizing that, seizing that, seizing bank accounts. Don't be hoodwinked. This is how crooks operate. They shift your attention from what they are doing so that they can steal. They are shifting your attention to Chirufatayari, to Ed Galungu. That's what they are doing. Eh? That's what they are doing. They are stealing. Right now as we are talking, they are stealing. We have put crooks, criminals in government. The way they stop a privatization during the time of privatization, they stop big time. Now, you have given them power. Now they are stealing even bigger. They are stealing the same way they stop a privatization. That's what they are doing. Before you know it, you Zambians will remain with nothing. Everything will be owned by them. They will own Zambia. You have brought criminals in this government. Let them not cheat you. I'm not anywhere in Nyimba. I am at home. Thank you very much. Enjoy your Sunday.